All right, so peep this. What's up, guys? It's your boy, Avery Jackalup. I'm back. So I told you, I told you guys, as soon as I got information on the AA-12 Civilian Edition, as soon as I got that information, I would share it with you. So uh, I reached out. There might have been some of you that recalled that live stream we did, and we found out they were going to do a, a Civilian Edition. I got the information. I emailed them, uh, and I waited and waited and waited. I never heard nothing back, and I was like, fuck, I really wanted that information. Well, lo and behold, yesterday, I believe it was, like like last night or something, I got an email uh, from Evelyn over there, and she's like, hey, uh, I don't know if the last uh, manager got back to you or not, but, you know, just following up. And I was like, oh, my God, I'm so glad you followed up. Yeah, I want information on this shit because it's, it's, this, is my, this is my grail gun. Okay, so I've got a KSG. I love it, but it's pump action. You know what I mean? I want I, I when I saw the original A12, you know, full auto, I was like, oh yeah, there's no fucking way I'll ever be able to get my hands on that. But when I found out there was a civilian model that was basically semi-automatic, I lost my mind. I think most of the folks that were on that stream that night kind of lost their mind. So anyway, I got the information. I want to share it with you guys. You know, for those of you who aren't quite familiar with A12, uh, I got exposed to it. Uh, honestly, from FPS Russia, he was doing a special on it. And I was like, what the shit is this? It blew my mind. I was like, oh, my God, that thing is m massive. And then I did some more research and I saw some videos um, and I was like, what? This is awesome. You know, and then I've seen it since then. I've seen it in several movies. I remember I saw it in the uh, Expendables. Uh, and then more recently, I think I saw it uh, in that that one Predators movie that I think the only really good thing about that movie was the fucking gun in the first place. So, yeah, you know, it's uh, it's a sexy gun. It's something I'm just like, holy shit, you know, it's, it's the grail gun. It's the grail gun. I want it really bad, and so I was excited. I found out originally that the gun that the military was buying cost about $12,000. So when I said, hey, what's the price point on this one? Evelyn basically broke it down and said, okay, there's two different models. One model that's just got the basically iron sights and everything, that's $3,000. The one that has the red dot and everything else on it is $3,250, which is basically a quarter of the price of the original one. Now, that's, that's actually pretty good. It's pretty good. And they actually aren't going to be pushing these out until the middle of next year, but uh, you can order it right now, and you could do a payment plan. So you could do like four payments of uh, seven fifty, for example, if you're getting the um, three thousand dollar one. So it's not too bad. It's not too bad. Let's see what else is there. There's the kind of the the specs on what you can expect with it, and there are some additional uh, things. Like I asked her, you know, what's the price point on the um, what do you call it? The magazines. Uh, and then she got back to me. Uh, so magazines, basically, eight round magazines would be around 30, 35 bucks. 20 round drum magazines would roughly be 150 to 160 dollars. So, you know, I think I would, I mean, you're spending three thousand dollars. You might as well go ahead and get the 20 round magazines if you can in your area. If not, then get the eight round magazines. You know what I mean? And I would probably even get a couple of the eight round magazines in addition to the 20 rounder. That way I can make sure that I'm rounded out and I have like over 60, uh, 60 or close to 60 rounds available for me to swap into pretty quickly. So yeah, it's pretty exciting stuff. Pretty exciting stuff. So if you guys are very interested, I know some of you motherfuckers are just go ahead and reach out to Sol of Invictus. You can give them a call. The phone number is, let's see, what is it? 32, area code 321-426-7533. Ask for Evelyn. And uh, make sure to let the motherfuckers know that the Angry Jackalope sent you. I'm definitely going to be trying to get my hands on one of these. I think there's a thousand. They're manufacturing a thousand of each model. A thousand of the uh, one with the Picatinny rail. I'm not, I'm sorry. Not pick a titty rail. I'm a fucking moron. With the iron sights and the other one with the red dot. So there's 2,000 total uh, of this first one. And this one's basically kind of a collector's edition. You know, they got some cool stuff. Let's see. Stuff like no lubrication necessary. Stainless steel construction. Minimal recoil. The recoil is really the thing that, 
that got me because, you know, I'm thinking anybody in my family can actually use it and not have the kick. Like, you know, the KSG is awesome. I can carry in it right now it's over 20 mini slugs, but, you know, it kicks pretty hard, right? So anyway, closed bolt design, semi-automatic, that's the baby right there, just for the simple fact that, you know, I don't, I don't like to do a lot of the pump action stuff. It'll include either a 20-round drum magazine or 8-round uh, stick magazine, depending on the state restrictions that you live in. And it also has a special engraved signature on the bolt itself. So, you know, once you get everything set up, they will basically will ship it out to the FFL dealer of your choice. And, um, you know, that's it. That's, that's it. So, anyway, that's it for now. Definitely give them a call. Check it out if you want. I know this thing is friggin' awesome. Some I definitely want, but... Then anyway, that's it. So again, if you get in touch with them, let them know. Let them know. Let them know who fucking sent you. Okay, guys. All right, that's it for now. If you like it, like it, please subscribe. Tell your friends far and wide. Tell next some motherfuckers, please. But good to yourself. Good to each other. Live life to the fullest. Go out, ride the bus. The wheels fall off. Get some scars. Have some love. Live life to the motherfucking fullest, and get yourself a motherfucking AA12. All right, guys. Later. <laughs>